what house is better <laughs> for this i'm definitely going to be biased and i'll say make it and i was only posting on shorts but a couple of you have been going back to my old videos about holy child school and asking me questions so i thought it wise to actually compile all those comments and answer them in a video so first on my list we have here so my answer to this question is no I don't think you're going to write exams when i was there we didn't write exams we just wrote the end of semester exams we didn't have to like rewrite exams or anything but if i'm wrong you guys should let me know in the comment section because it's been a while i graduated from school so well, i'm sure most of you are curious yes i'm a red printer i graduated in 2018 i went to the child school in 2015 red printer yeah well, there were so many stuff going on i mean things about red printer rumors about red printers and all that and they tried to make our life a living hell but <laughs> we survived yeah so the red printer Sound me along. I'm, coming up. I'm so sorry i didn't go to wesley girls so i don't really know what goes on in wesley girls and i don't have anybody here currently who went to wesley girls so i really can't make a video about wesley girls but hopefully when i find somebody in ghana who i mean makes videos or talks about wesley girls i'll just like link you guys up to that person but for now like i have no association with wesley girls i just have friends from there but me personally i know nothing about wesley girls so mark reading so in holy child school we have something called mark reading that is after your cachet cachet is class test sort of so after the cachet they gather everybody to the assembly hall and they read the marks sort of like they mention the names of those who did so good and those who didn't do those who didn't do so good then those who did good their school clubs for them and those who didn't do good you get punished they punish you to do i mean school work like cleaning and stuff but those who did good sometimes if you're lucky you get to have lunch or yeah lunch with the headmistress or something i don't know if they still do mark reading but during our time that was it and the thing is everybody is going to see you if you fail and everybody is going to see if you did well because they are going to announce it in front of the whole school form ones form twos form threes so everybody will know that this person doesn't do well in class or didn't do well in class and this person is like a good student so that's how they chose your puppy dog show them all what i'm so somebody was asking me about the protocol committee because i spoke about the clubs and societies and um prefect prefectorial board and all those things so we actually have something called protocol committee and the protocol committee i think they're in charge of inspection and other stuff like events when there's a program going on in school they are the ones who ensure that everything is in order so when you're in form one you are able to join the protocol committee and when you get to form three you can apply form to third term um, second term sorry you can apply to become the um protocol prefect or something so that's all about the protocol committee i wasn't in the protocol committee i don't really know the grade range that can get you into holy child school but i know that you have to do well in your bc then the computerized placement system that's what's going to place you in holy child school so if the computer feels you did well you'll just place you in holy child school so i don't think there's any grade range but you should do well i really don't know but you should do well. I wanna live right now. so for the school dorm um form ones are in the same dorm with a prefect or two prefects and form twos are mixed with form threes okay so in form one you get to choose a dorm prefect in the dorm and we are about we're about like let's say 20 students in a room yeah and in form one most of the houses you don't get to use lockers so you just use your chop boxes and trunks or suitcases but when you get to form two and form three you get lockers because you move to a new dorm and they have lockers there and you're mixed with the seniors so that's basically about the dorm we have a bathroom in the dorm um for the smaller houses the bigger houses like emissa's house and conti they have um bathrooms i mean where form ones and form twos and form threes can use but for the smaller houses usually the bathrooms in the houses they are just for form threes and i think sometimes form twos but they are mainly for form three so the form ones you have to use the main bath house that is 
outside the house so you carry your bucket your water whatever we have like washroom the washroom every dorm has its washroom and yeah that's basically it you're not allowed to eat in the dorm you have to lay your bed well yeah i think that's all for the like every other school which of us in we have a economic student and they have like their own department they have the food room for practicals and the clothing room for um sewing practicals for the um clothing students so then when it comes we actually have people for i mean clothing and people for food so you get to choose if you want to do clothing or food and there's also um in my school holy child you get to choose if you want to do french or economics for the home economic students then in my time we were forced to do chemistry but the batches after us they got to choose between chemistry and biology and you guys should actually study study hard because there's a perception about holy, uh, home economic students that they are so lazy and whatever but it's actually not true but your batch has to make the difference because in my school my batch well home economic students were really doing well they were part of the top students in the school so if you want to clear that Thing that home economic students don't do well your batch your home economic students should do well then they will actually clear that name that's perception night, I wanna dance right now. yes for inspection they expect you to actually fold your handkerchiefs or iron them in 16 boxes into 16 boxes i've forgotten how to fold it it's not iron i'm sorry but here you have to fold it into 16 boxes so you fold i'm trying to see if i remember you fold this is one big box you fold again you fold again <laughs> this thing is so crumpled then you fold so while you're ironing it that's how you should be folding it so when they open it after ironing they'll see 16 boxes in it this hanky is so crumpled guys i'm sorry but that's literally it so that's all about the 16 boxes so they'll sometimes open your hanky to see if it actually has 16 boxes like 16 squares oh, the floor, I feel so, alive. so my time they were not really selling food aside the dining hall food they were not selling food on campus so people used to like buy food from outside illegally <laughs> But they used to sell snacks. We have a tax shop and we have other um, places where they sell snacks, toffees, um, cookies, um, sopolo, uh, what they get, what they get, yam balls, sausages, like they have snacks, but they don't have proper foods being sold on campus. I'm sorry. Don't stop, turn it up. No, it's not i don't think it's compulsory but then if you don't take chop balls why are you going to keep your stuff because in first year you some of some people don't have lockers so the chop bus is going to serve as your locker so yeah i don't know if it's compulsory but i think you should just take it just in case you don't get a locker because my house all first years they have locker <laughs> lockers sorry don't stop turning up i really can't make a video on things we need in our seat kids because it's it differs it varies from everybody like you just have to follow the things written in the prospectus in the prospectus they've written the things you need like the um underwear your um um, um night night wear your morning coat all those things they've written them in the um prospectus so if you get a prospectus you can just know that then she have to take to school so i can't really make a video on that i'm sorry Don't stop, turn it up. um i'm sorry but no they're not going to change their food for the whole school because of one person and it's like you're not in your house i'm sorry but like it's school life you just have to live with it but if you're allergic to some food stuff that's when they have like special treatment for people who are allergic to some ingredients they have a special i mean meal for them and for most of them it's time for their fasting they also have special treatment for them but in general they're not going to change their food because of one person like it's either you eat it or you don't eat it that's on you that's up to you <laughs> but they're not going to change and if you don't eat it you are going to starve <laughs> so just try and cope it's cool like don't no 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 other students also get admitted people who have like bees how do you one yeah one two three the score like people who have like let's say straight a's would be like 
over six or eight ones six months eight months right i don't remember the bc school i mean grading system but people who had let's say eight nine also had admission so it's not only straight a students who are going to get admitted you know all this is it's all about the computer placing you i mean the computer sometimes places people who have even i mean worst grades in some schools and people who have good grades in other schools so just pray that the computer doesn't do you dirty and you get i mean <laughs> your first choice if holy child your first choice you get your first choice but i can't say all these straight a students get admitted because i don't think it's true Sound the alarm. I'm coming, I'm coming up. so intercom basically refers to intercologies inter schools competition the sports competition so it's not compulsory nobody's going to force you to go for intercom but it's fun if you go because you've been studying the whole semester and you are tired your brain is literally tired you've not met a couple of friends in a while like your friends outside of each other's school so it's just nice if you go and i mean take a break from school work but it's not compulsory we're going hard pour some more into my cup spark when we're there yeah the library was renovated by the old students and some other buildings in the school were renovated by old students <laughs> i think i've answered that question i don't really need to say much about it <laughs> for this i'm definitely going to be biased and i'll say saint cornelius house is better because i was in saint cornelius house but 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 i can't say i mean i can't really tell what house is better if i'm trying to be fair because i didn't really stay in all the houses i was only in saint cornelius and later i moved to saint Teresa's during i mean in form three and yeah i think it's actually a matter of like the people in the house because if the people in the house are nice and what 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 that's when you're going to enjoy the house and i mean you're going to enjoy their company you're going to feel the house is nice but if the people in the house are always rude to you and all they are going to think oh this house sucks and all that so it's actually about the people in the house it's not really about the house being better in terms of um facilities and stuff maybe emissus is better in terms of distance to class the classroom blocks and other things cornelius and joseph's are better in terms of the water the houses with poly tanks i would say those houses with poly tanks are better but in general i really can't say but i'll be biased and say saint cornelius house is the best house in holy child school no cap <laughs> my car let's go to my favorite club Rich um i'm sorry but i don't have the prospectus right now i don't have it on me and even the one i had i don't, I don't know where it is it's somewhere in my house i don't know but karen i don't know if they've updated the prospectus or not but if you need a prospectus once you get admitted into the child school they are going to give you all those stuff so you don't need to like bother yourself looking for the prospectus now and all that but you can just get the basic stuff you know you you must take to school if you got admitted before you get a prospector, you can just get those stuff. Queen, all my clothes are designer. Life is a dream. Play deck. Play in Holy Child School, the comp like the compulsory footwear we are all supposed to wear. Like the footwear we are all supposed to wear, the uniform one is play deck, a brown play deck. They don't accept any sandals apart from that play deck. And the shoe too is supposed to be a brown shoe. Well, they were wearing black shoe. I think brown black. And for chapel, either you wear shoe. Oh, you wear the Asante Pabo, Asante Pabo, and the other one. What again? Yeah, I think. Oh, and for PE, you were wearing white canvas for PE. <laughs> I think I remember this 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 match. And nighty, you wear a nighty, you wear morning coat, and all that. So don't bring on preschool pullover, on preschool nothing, because you're going to have the school pullover and all that. But ours, they delayed to give us the school pullover. But still, you, they are not, you're not allowed to bring on preschool. So just take the right things to school. I hope I helped you guys with this. I mean, replying the comments on my video. Don't forget to subscribe. Congratulations to all those who just finished BBC and those who gained admission into Holy Child School. Like, I really saw most of you commenting on my old video that I just got admission into Holy Child School. Wish me luck. I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm going to Holy Child School. Like, I was so happy seeing, like, most of you happy that you're going to Holy Child School. And I was so happy that my video helped most of you. So I just hope this video is also going to help most of you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, guys. Let's get to 1k subscribers this year. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, comment, and share to somebody going to Lichel School. Or somebody who loves Lichel School. Or somebody you think this video might help. It's I was Nita.
I'm Wazanita <laughs> and I'm out. Bye guys. <laughs>